What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning, hope you all had a great start of your weekend. Um, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Ethereum or Ether, which the token should technically be called and therefore an analysis on it too. Um, and I wanted to cover that because uh, today, and you've probably uh, realized that the last couple of days and the last week, week and a half maybe even, I haven't been as active as I always was. That's because I'm currently moving from one place to another. So it's, it's really busy. I have to do almost uh, everything uh, myself together with my girlfriend. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of work, but hopefully um, very soon I'll be back. But therefore today I wanted to cover Bitcoin and Ethereum. I, I, want, I, I want to make those updates something um, that I always do on my channel. So I think this is a good way. Apart from that, I also think it's very valuable. I think these are the most value valuable cryptos to always analyze because a lot of the crypto market moves along with them. All right. And mostly with Bitcoin, but also with Ethereum. And apart from that, Ethereum is also the, the second biggest crypto. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a quick daily update. Ethereum, as I said, it's looking pretty bullish. It's up three and a half percent. Volume at around 18 billion, it's recovering because it's <clears throat> still at 8.5% of the market cap, which um, is not low, uh, but it definitely was higher. If you compare it with last month, for example, we reached 20 billion. Uh, with this increase up to uh, 1,750, we, we reached uh, 31 billion. Um, <clears throat> that's still significantly higher than this, all right? Uh, doesn't matter, it's still, it's it's all right, all right? It's it's nothing nothing not, nothing special so if we take a look at ethereum uh, what you can see is that we're actually holding this whole trend line and therefore this uptrend pretty well we found a strong support touch off of this 1600 level once it's actually lined up with this trend line and that brought us all the way above 1670 took a break retest and now <clears throat> we're at that same level again as where we were about a week ago this level right here between uh, 1750 and ultimately 1786 but we only touched that once um, and this is the main resistance level obviously i mean th th this is kind of the same as this level was so the main question obviously is is, is can we get higher than that level and I, gen I i genuinely do think so i think we can expect a move like this up to that 1800 and 1830 level um <clears throat> but in my analysis, that's still the same level as that 1750 level. So maybe the more important and the more interesting question is, can we actually break above 1830 and get towards our price target more around 1925 and after that around 2000? And at this point of time, it's, it's really hard to say because I do expect some more bullish momentum in the market. But I also expect it to be over soon. So I think we're going to get one last run uh, with Bitcoin, with Ethereum. And after that, I think we're going to drop down quite um, by, by, by quite a lot. That's my bias on the market right now. So if you don't agree with me, uh, with me on that, that's, that's perfectly fine. But you should know that that's my bias. Uh, so at this point of time, something I expect with Ethereum is that we is that we do, I do think we can reach 1800 and 1830. Um, even if we drop down towards uh, 1600, uh, then it's just going to take a little bit longer, but I still think we're going to reach that. Uh, <clears throat> and I don't think we're going to break that. All right. I, I think this little increase in price is going to be it. I always used to say, I mean, if you take a look at this whole level, this level between 1830 and 1700 is a very strong resistance level or a very strong key level in general. Uh, I always thought that this was the perfect uh, top for the end of a for the end of a relief rally like this. Um, and I'm going to stick with that for now. I, I, I might change my I might change my mind in my opinion uh, in the upcoming days. But for now, I expect us to reach that. And then from there, that slowly but surely, um, you know, we, we could even do this, but slowly but surely, I think we're going to drop down to at least 1400 and from there we'll see again. All right. Um, so, yeah, I will definitely be back with more Ethereum updates because analyzing it at this point of time is a very difficult exercise, at least I find so. Um, so, yeah, for now, that's my analysis. So if you do have any questions, please let me know. 
Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all for watching and listening. Hope you have a great weekend and uh, bye.